The Sony a7S Mark III is a dual ISO capable camera, but do you know where it is? Do you know what ISOs you should be using? In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of finding your native ISO. Like, subscribe, share. Let's get into the video. First way is the most simple way and with this PDF chart or you could download in JPEG format, whatever you prefer. Links in the description. What I have here are the shooting modes in the columns and ISOs in the rows. Anything out of, outside of the picture your profiles you can lump them all as a creative style and you can see here that the base ISO starts at 80 goes to 1600 and I did that for the rest of the following picture profiles Cine 1, Cine 2, Cine 3, Cine 4. You can see that they're all kind of different. S log 2 and 3 are the same and there's an asterisk. You can actually go lower than the base ISO however that's using extended is using a boost setting so I don't really know if that Im really improves your dynamic range or not however it might make your life easier if you're exposing a little bit Bit lower and using ND filters. The HLG modes they are all over the place. HLG and HLG3 use the same but HLG1 and 2 are different. Moving on let's say you don't have time to download this chart or if you download it and you can't find the file here's how to find it in your camera. Yes you can find it in your camera under any style under any picture profile creative style whatever you name it you can find it. And there's a little trick to doing this. All right, let's get started. So at what point does the native ISO kick in? It's really difficult to tell, right? You won't be able to tell just by looking at your rear screen. And if you look into the viewfinder, it's really hard to tell as well because you're just moving it up and down and you can't really see what's going on. And then when you get back to your computer, you may find out, okay, I didn't really shoot at the best optimal settings and I can't remember <laughs> what settings I use, right? So that's the problem, but there is a trick and here it is, your lens cap. Wow. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your lens cap over your lens. Make sure that you have your EVS settings to the highest brightness. Look into the screen and scroll up and down your ISO range. And what you're gonna find is that because you blocked out all the light, it's gonna be really dark. And when you scroll up and down, you will notice a flicker. It's gonna flicker really quick. And then you can fine tune it. You can go back to that ISO and you'll see that it goes from very noisy black to a very clean looking black. And that's how you find your second native ISO in the field without having to remember anything. So I hope this video helped. Like and subscribe to my channel. I do more gear, tips, tricks, reviews, hacks, and news. I will see you on the next video. See you then.